Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace and joy be with you. In a short while, we will be listening to the reflection from Father David Lemebo of the Missionaries of God's Love. Let's be open to the Holy Spirit and prepare our hearts so the Word of God will dwell richly in our lives today. My word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path and a light unto my path As the time drew near for him to be taken up to heaven, Jesus resolutely took the road for Jerusalem and sent messengers ahead of him. These set out, and they went into a Samaritan village to make preparations for him. But the people would not receive him because he was making for Jerusalem. Seeing this, the disciples James and John said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to burn them up? But he turned and rebuked them, and they went off to another village. James and John seemed to hate the Samaritans to the point that they proposed that the Samaritans at that time be destroyed by lightning for rejecting them. Fortunately, Jesus did not agree and rebuked them. What was the reason behind all of this? The territory of Samaria was the land given to the tribe of Ephraim and to half the tribe of Manasseh. Ephraim and Manasseh were the sons of Joseph and the grandsons of Jacob, the nations of Israel. They were part of the ten tribes in the north that split from the tribes in the south, namely Judah and Benjamin, when King Solomon died and Rehoboam became the leader of the Israelites. Amnity between the Jews, the inhabitants of Judah from the southern kingdom, and the Israelites from the northern kingdom rapidly grew. Samaria became the capital of the northern kingdom ruled by King Jeroboam. King Rehoboam in the south wanted to reunite their entire nation and gather an army to fight against Israel to re reunite the kingdom. But God did not approve of it and made his will known through his prophet Semiah in the first king. In the first king 15.6 it says, there is war between Rehoboam and Jeroboam all their lives. After the division occurred, King Jeroboam changed the place of worship of the Israelites in the north so that they no longer traveled to Jerusalem to offer sacrifices in the temple. On the other hand, Jeroboam built idol sites at Dan and Bethel. Then, after Israel fell into the hands of the Assyrians, they began intermarrying with that nation and violated the rules stated in Deuteronomy. This is why the Jews hated the Samaritans and referred to them as dogs or mixed breeds. The Samaritans also caused much trouble for the Jews when they rebuilt Jerusalem after returning from the Babylonian exile. Moreover, the Samaritans only recognized the Pentateuch, namely the five books from the Genesis to Deuteronomy, as their only holy Bible and rejected all the prophets and the Psalms and the wisdom books. Even the Samaritans claimed that their copy of the Pentateuch was the only genuine copy claim that is still maintained by a handful of Samaritans today, which the Jews outrightly reject. It was in the midst of this fierce enmity that Jesus tried to bring the good news of the kingdom of God. Jews like him did not enter Samaria or speak to them. What Jesus did at that time was very radical. The story of the Good Samaritan or his conversation with the Samaritan woman at, the, at Jacob's well, 
are signs of his sincere love for the Samaritans, whom the Jews hated. How about us? Are there people who have enmity with us, our family, our ethnic group, our religion and beliefs? How can we follow Jesus who did not show hostility but instead avoided confrontation? Are we people who intensify animosity or are we carrying the seeds of peace like the example that Jesus gave? Do you and I want to be instruments of peace today? Oh Lord Jesus, thank you for the example you set for us. Let us be instruments that bring peace, not hostility so that we can truly be your real witnesses in this world where there is a lot of hostility going on. May you, our Prince of Peace, shine in our lives today. Amen. Mm-hmm.